What's up everyone? Today we're talking about the Yates Row. So this is one of my favorite back exercises and we're going to talk about what it is, why you should be doing it in your training, which muscles it targets, and how to do it, how to improve your technique with this exercise. So this exercise actually came from Dorian Yates, the four-time Mr. Olympia, and this is largely responsible for his ridiculous back development, especially his incredible Lats. He is one of the best backs of all time. Let's get nasty! Oh. Let's get nasty! Oh. Let's go again! Bring it! Oh. Bring it. Come on, let's, oh. let's go again! Shh. Let's go again, Yates! Yeah. Scream it in! One more! Yeah. Go on, run the boxes! Go on! Bring it on! Oh. Come on, keep squeezing! Yeah. Keep squeezing! Yeah. There you are! That's oh. the one! So that was not a Yates row that you just saw, that was a Nautilus pullover machine, but still, it gives you a small taste of the insane intensity and insanity that Yates brought to the gym. So if you ever need motivation, look up the documentary Blood and Guts. It is, if you're ever like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to go to the gym, like, my elbow hurts a little bit, watch this movie, watch this film, it'll kick your ass right into the gym. Anyway, into the Yates row. So this is a bent over row where you're not too bent over. So it's not like a pendley row where you're bent over 90 degrees and your torso is uh, parallel with the ground. You are bent over not even 45 degrees. So you're bent over about 30 degrees, just enough to get a squeeze in the lats, and you're still in a very, very strong position to pull from. This is primarily a lat movement, but it also works the traps, the rhomboids, the biceps, the forearms, the rear delts. It really is a complete back developer, and I find it to really help with complete back development. If you pull low towards the belly and you keep your shoulders down, that is going to be all lats. If you flare your elbows out to the sides a little bit, that is going to be more rear delts. And if you let your shoulders shrug up as you pull, that's going to be more upper and mid traps. So it really just depends on what you want to build. I would say try to focus on the lats. But of course, if you want more traps, you can do more of a shrugging type of motion. The benefits of using this over a traditional row are clearly the insane development, but also you can use much more weight. If you're in a completely bent over position, like he is here, you just can't pull that much weight without cheating. I mean, if you're being very, very, very strict and very bent over, the limiting factor is going to be the lower back. Not the lats, not the upper back, just the spinal erectors. You'll note that he uses an overhand grip. I find that overhand is a little bit more traps and underhand is a little bit more lats. It's also worth noting that he did tear his bicep, I think, doing this movement. But keep in mind he was depleted, he was doing low reps, he was using heavy, heavy weights with super high intensity. So I think if you keep the reps a little bit higher and you are not going to like complete and total failure and you're not, you know, a week or two out from a bodybuilding show, I think you'll be fine. In terms of technique, I would keep the movement fairly strict. You can use a little bit of oomph, but try to keep the movement on the lats. Try to squeeze the lats at the top. The hardest part of the range of motion is absolutely at the top. The bottom is very easy, the middle becomes more difficult, and the hardest part of the strength curve is going to be at the top. So this means that you're going to be tempted to cheat. You're going to be tempted to get momentum, get some hip, leg, lower back drive, and try to blast through that sticking point to get up to the top part of the range of motion. But this is not really going to be as effective from a muscle building standpoint. Also make sure you brace before every single set. You don't have to brace every single rep, but when you're at the top and then you go down into position, you should be bracing before you do that because this is going to be potentially stressful on the lower back if you are not braced. It's easier on the lower back than a traditional fully bent over row, but still you are in a slightly bent over position. So it's important to keep your torso 
braced. It's also worth noting that just because Dorian Yates created and proliferated the exercise doesn't mean you shouldn't apply it to yourself in a unique way. So your grip width, overhand, underhand, where you are pulling the bar, your torso position, all of these things are to a certain extent going to be slightly unique. So take the exercise as a template, but then apply it to yourself with wisdom and experimentation. All right, that's all for today. See you next time. Peace. Woo!